Leo Banana Nerd! The Lego Banana Nerd! Hello YouTube, this is the Lego Banana Nerd coming out to you with another Lego video. So this is my catapult, it was actually a school project. And it's called the Treadview Set. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's French. It's kind of hard to say. And this is actually my third take of the video because <laughs> everything kept on getting messed up. So, anyways, it was the most destructive weapon of the Middle Ages, and it was pulled by horses. So I have these little horses here, They're pulling it on chains. And I'm gonna take the horses off because they really do get in the way a lot. So I'm just gonna stick the chain up here because that looks cool. Stick the other chain up there. Okay. Oh and then also I just stuck these guys here because they look cool. This is uh the mini figs are mostly made out of brick warrior stuff. This sword and this helmet. You should go check out their shop. They also have a YouTube channel. They make really cool stuff. They don't just make medieval stuff. And this dude, um, shield and axe and body armor and stuff on the back. So get them out of the way. Um, so, yeah. The way it works is this is actually a weight. It's, like, really heavy because there's some pennies inside. Not, not pennies, but some coins. Uh, I can't really take it off, but there are coins inside. And I just stuck a dragon head in the end. To look cool. So the way it works is let me pull it out. Oh, there's also a windsock at the top if you can't see. This is made using two capes. It's also going to be in my next video. On the roof of something. So let me take this out. You can't see the whole thing, but yeah. So there'd be a guy or two guys pulling this uh gear or whatever you want to call it. So when you pull this, here let me show you from a different angle, the rope coils around the thing and pulls the whole pad of uh, the lever down, whatever you want to call it. Oh no, a chain fell down. Yeah, last take, <laughs> all, there's so many ropes and chains, so they all got in the way and yeah. So here's the projectile, it's on the end of the thing, just two small chains, and this is the thing that's shooting out, okay, and I need the horse to keep the lever from moving, <laughs> here I'll just go like that, because there's a lot of weights at the end, so it makes it, the lever really want to go down. So I need to stop it by seeing the horse there. So the way this works, when you let go of the lever, which this is in the way, so technically you're still holding on to it, um, the weight, this weight will be pulling it down, and then it will shoot this projectile up in the air. So this wasn't entirely my design. I'll have the link in the description to the guy who I looked at for inspiration. So here's a projectile. The key is to like barely attach it to the little rock thing. And then you stick it inside here. See, there's some slants. Let me show you from another view. Uh, yeah. And so there's a lot of support because this breaks really easily when you shoot it. And yeah, so I don't know how many tries this will take. I'll cut it and we'll see how many tries this takes. Hopefully, hopefully only one. Take 10. Oh. Finally. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Oh, by the way, this is my Sig Fig and Brick Warriors armor if you didn't know. Um, uh, please check out my bloopers, it'll probably be at the end of this video. Um, yeah, this is Lego Banana Nerd, signing out. Oh, and also stay tuned for more videos, I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos, now.
Take one. Uh, well, take two. Well, let's go. And it falls over again. Take three. This time, let's hope it doesn't fall over again. Or it can just fall over and not listen to me. Take four. Okay, this time I'm going to hold on to it so it doesn't fly. And it, like, didn't even fall off. Take five. This time I'm going to hold on to it and make sure my finger doesn't get in the way of the projector. Oh, and this is a bullet. I used to, like, really much. Okay, Take... What number is this again? 